following video is to uh, demonstrate how to remove the output tube from my 807 amp. First thing you do, of course, is move the four screws, get the back cover off, which will reveal insides of the amp. Alright, so first I'll show you uh, how easy it is to remove it. You can see your rectifier tube and your preamp tube here, and the 807 is back behind it. So to get to it, there's a plate cap on the front of the tube. You can see this little cap, okay? You gotta take that off, rock out the tube, and there you have it. 807's out. That's simple. Alright, so to reinstall the 807, you'll see it's got five pins here. One of them is offset, okay? And you can look inside and you can see that offset on the socket itself. So just be careful when you put it in that you line that back up the way it should be. It can only go in one way, okay? You can actually kind of rotate the tube and you'll feel it drop into the socket. Support the back of the socket with your hand, pushing the tube. And the most important thing is make sure to put the plate cap back on the front of the tube. If you don't put that plate cap on, you're going to have exposed 500 volts when you turn this amp on. That would not be a good thing. Of course, the last thing is to reinstall the perforated metal backing. Okay. Another thing I want to point out about this amp is you'll see your two speaker jacks, your 4 or 8 ohm jack. That means you can only put one 4 ohm speaker or one 8 ohm speaker on this amp, okay? Do not run this amp without having a speaker connected or you'll damage the output transformer. So here's the final product. Cool old amp, ready for you to enjoy. Compliments of D-Lab Electronics. See you.